Tale of two halves. Um, you know, did did a decent job in the first half. Um, second half didn't come out with the same focus and um, energy and intensity that we needed in order to win the game. Give a lot of credit to um, to LA. They did a really good job of um, speeding us up and making us, um, you know, play a little chaotic. Uh, um, always play with a level of intensity, um, and obviously the intensity of this game today. Um, where did you where did you see where were some of the positives that you take away from this game, and what's some of the things you'd like to work on for the other? Um, just some positives, just being aggressive minded uh, in the first half. Um, negative, just fighting through fatigue. Second half came, and a lot of my shots were short. Just got to get. Get my stamina up better. Overall, this team obviously got to still play off contention. Um, what do you all have to do to finish out strong? Still, it wouldn't obviously learn some of the things from this game today. Where some of the things to finish out strong and make sure you got to stay in that at that level. I would say just get tougher. Right now, we're lacking toughness. That's what it's going to take for us to get to that next level. The point is for coach. Um, like you said, it was until it was two and a half, some great control. The yeah. first half, they kind of slipped away in the third, especially early in the fourth. Um, what were the struggles? What was causing the problem in the third quarter? Where did the team struggle offensively? Just not executing. Um, not execution. I mean, LA did a great job, right? They started to send a double to CP, and we didn't really get to our spots. Um, I thought at times we we just we rushed. They hurried us. We took bad shots, especially within the flow of the game. You know. Um, two for 13 from three in the first half. And then we come out and still take 10 more threes, right? When Cheyenne was having her way, right? Or get something easier, some downhill attacks. We never got north south. Um, and so we just played around the three point line. And when that happens to us, like, it's just, it's not good unless you're making shots and we weren't making shots. So you got to figure out other ways to be effective. And we didn't do a great, great job of that. Uh, question, Mr. Um, you got going a little bit in that. Airy, Airy. Sorry. Uh, you got going a little bit in the fourth there, and um, you know we're a lot more effective there uh, late as games kind of went back and forth. Uh, what were you seeing offensively that allowed you to kind of be a little bit more aggressive to play the first quarter? I was just trying to get north south attacks uh, to whether I can spy my teammates or if not, then I just keep going. But just trying to honestly just get something going for us. I saw I felt that our defense is you know dictating our offense, so just had to try to be the spark plug. Uh, just one question. Obviously, you're going to Vegas, and I know we talk about travel a lot. And even though you guys are chartering this flight, can you speak to what it does mentally to have to play back to back, especially when you're facing a team like the Aces tomorrow? They're professional athletes. Like, that's it. This is part of being a professional athlete. They won't be the first ones to play a back to back game, and they won't be the last ones to play a back to back game. It's part of, part of our league. It's been a part of our league um, since the league has been here. Uh, I was just telling them how we played multiple back-to-backs in a season, um, the years that I played. So it's just a part of the league. Like you just have to get over it. Yep. We're gonna jump to Zoom. Uh, Mark, go ahead. Hey T, uh, you know, you as you mentioned in terms of like not getting north south, uh, it felt like especially on on some of the off ball exchanges, um, they did a the, the Sparks switched quite a bit to kind of prevent any any kind of separation. Mm-hmm. What kind of things would you have liked to maybe see happen differently to 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 try and counteract that? Yeah, I'd like to see like our double action. So when we have double actions and we're and we're doing it with pace, um, that is what opens up things for us. So we could have did rubs, we could have we could have ghosted a lot of screens with pace. Like when we're walking through stuff, it doesn't open anything up for us. And then when action is happening on one end, we're able to attack. Um, from the other end, but because we didn't do anything with with pace, especially in that third quarter, those options weren't necessarily open. And one final question. Go ahead, Fanny. Hey, Coach, you talked about it a little bit, um, the three-point shooting. What can you do um, to it? Is it more maybe driving more to the hole? What can you do to make it a little bit better going into this game tomorrow? Well, I can't do anything about the three-point shooting. They have to make shots. Um, They're getting looks. Um, looks that they normally get, and they got to be able to knock down those looks. Um, but again, in terms of our, you know, our offense and the flow of our offense, we have to do things with pace. We can't walk in a half court. Um, I think we also have to make sure that we're playing inside out, which we did a lot in the first half. Um, Diane got a bunch of touches in that first half. 
um, which opened a lot of things up. So we've got to continue to do that, um, play inside and then outside and things will open up and be able to attack closeouts and different things like that. We have to be able to put teams in closeouts, which our offense is um, based upon and then attack those and make the right reads. Thank you, everyone, for your time. Thank you. Appreciate it.